Yeah. 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 I was cool. I mean, everybody did their job. I mean, I finally stood in there for once. Uh, the O-line did a great job. Shit got open for me. Everybody else ran good routes, and it just worked out. So did, you, did, did you feel a lot more comfortable in the pocket? Cause it, seemed, it seemed that way just from us watching. Well, it, I felt a little bit more comfortable, but it's, it's not about feeling comfortable. It's about making it a, you know, a big point to stay in the pocket when I can, not just because I'm athletic or I can get out when I want to, just to get out sometimes. And it's just understanding when and when not to. And that's the biggest thing. That's why I'm a little disappointed in myself for tonight. I think I got out of there a little bit too much. Uh, but it's a growing process. It's my second preseason game. I'm not going to be too hard on myself in that regard. Uh, so I'm just excited and blessed that I get another opportunity next week. Do you feel like you made progress in that regard, Malik, in terms of you know getting the ball out quickly and, and you know passing it from the pocket, or, or was it about the same as, as week one? What were your thoughts? Uh, I think thinking about it, it was a little bit better than week one. Uh, I, got, I got a few check downs that I, got, I stayed in here and just got it, out the, got it out quickly, but not by much. I think it's, it's something I just need to focus on and continue to just find that in between from when I need a play, make a play, and when I don't, to just climb in the pocket and help my O-line out. On the big run where you did get, get free, were you surprised that you got around that corner as easily as you did? Um, I, don't, I don't know if I was surprised or not. I kind of was just in the moment. I kind of just was like, oh, there we go. And I was hyped. But, and it's not even about that part. It's like, those going to happen naturally. So it's about not trying to make them happen when I have a clean pocket. And that's the whole issue. And I wouldn't say even issue, that's the whole balance thing. I'm trying to find the balance of when I have a clean pocket, when people are open downfield, I need to make that throw. I need to stay in there, climb, do whatever I need to do in order to just not ask much of protection. And also to save my body more than anything. And those times when I did, I do need to make a play when nobody's open, when there's pressure in the pocket, and it's right now. Just being able to react and it's just finding the balance between those two. Malik, what was it like playing here for the first time? It was cool. I mean, we played here uh, 2018 when I was at Harvard still. We played the Music City Bowl. Uh, we played uh, Purdue. I got in a couple series. <laughs> but it was cool to play like an actual game here. Uh, so I was excited. Definitely blessed. What's maybe next? You got you got one more preseason game. Camp get close. What would you like to do to kind of finish the camp with momentum? Um, I mean, at this point, I just wake up every day and thank God that I get to do what I do. So I'm just super excited to go to work tomorrow. Uh, we'll go work out and watch the film, correct it. I probably watch it tonight, but I get to watch it with coach tomorrow morning. We can talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, and it's just. Uh, Focusing on how we can fix it. It's over with now. It's in the books. When you watch the film tonight, how critical are you of yourself, typically? I'm probably a little bit more critical than my coaches, but they always balance me out. So I'm not over critical because at the end of the day, nobody's perfect. Everybody's going to make mistakes, and especially being young. Uh, they try to help me to see the glass half full. You had that big completion of this when you guys were deep in your own territory. Is that the kind of thing that you would like to do with your legs, kind of get out of harm's way? Still get the ball downfield, get a, get a big, big pickup like that? I mean, when I am uh, on the move, that is what I'm trying to do. But sometimes the, the receivers uh, or the running backs may not know what I might be doing. They might think I'm running. They might think I'm – and it's a, such a split decision where uh, nobody's turning around looking at me. People already started blocking and i got to go. But that's just getting to know each other. That's what the preseason is for. And, uh, I feel like those plays are helpful. But, like I said, I do want to focus on continuing to play from the pocket, and it'll just help everybody else out. The sidearm throws, is, that, is there a, a, an instant in your mind where you say, I need to drop down here, or is it more it just kind of happens naturally, you think? It just happens naturally. It's about getting the ball from point A to point B without anybody in between messing with it. And with the ball coming out more quickly than last week, is that something that you entered this game saying, hey, I got to get rid of it quicker? Because last week it was like almost four seconds or something like that. Nah, it was just me trying to no, no, yes. And just when I'm going through these progressions, not the whole like 
uh, he might get up and, oh, what coverage is this? Okay, it's, it's cover two, so he might get up right here and then I can check it. Like, just go ahead and check it down. That's what it's about. Just go ahead and get the ball out. And it's about just the repetition and keep doing that. Yeah. And like I said, it's me sitting in the pocket. That's what it all comes back down to. Like on the first drive or second drive, I had a uh, poop coming across after he chipped, you know, uh, shallow, and I just got to hit that. And even the one I, used, I missed to uh, Kyle, I should have put it a little bit higher. I was trying to bring it back down on that sail. But even though I didn't like that sail because it was quarters and he was trying to push out underneath. I knew I could make a good throw, but I didn't make a good throw on that play. Uh, just coming back down to my, my like, low shallow coming from the backside. That first play, the play action, the quick pass there, very similar to the the one in Baltimore. Oh, that's the one I missed last week. But. Right, right. Yeah. Did, did Coach Ray would say, hey, man, you better throw this or, or else? No, nah, he was just like, don't worry about being perfect because that's what I was doing. Don't worry about being perfect. Just go out there and let it have fun. You, you're blessed with a lot of ability, so just go have fun and continue to learn and ask Ryan and Logan these questions and ask the coaches these questions and just stay listening. How much fun was tonight for you? Oh, it's always fun. We get to play football, really. It's always fun. Derrick Henry came over like late in the first quarter or so but while you guys were getting ready to go back out on the field. He looked like he was pumping you up or something. What was he telling you there? Yeah, he was trying to turn us up. I mean, we had a couple penalties. We had a couple operational issues. We had a couple things that just weren't going our way, a couple three and outs, and he was just trying to get us up, uh, give us some energy. And that's, that's what it's about when you have having little lows in the game. It's about just being consistent, and that's what helping would help from playing from the pocket, just being consistent, just completion, 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 first down, completion, first down, first down, completion. And stacking those completions, stacking those first downs, that's how you gain momentum, more or less than just hitting a big play. Thank you. Thanks, 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 Thanks. 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 The Overall um, thoughts on the performance tonight? Well, I mean, I think there were some good things. There was some, you know, defensively, we got some turnovers, we turned them into points. You know, I felt like we were looking for opportunities on defense. I thought that there were some really positive plays offensively. There were some time there. I would say that there were some things that, that he improved on, and I would say that it, you know, we're probably going to have to go back and look at the film. Uh, and that's just some things that we're going to have to continue to coach and improve um, operationally. Uh, you know, just trying to – it's hard to run out of the back of the pocket in this league, and it's, it, it's hard. And, um, you know, so we're just going to continue to coach him to – to try to step up and, and find guys that can help him. And then when there are opportunities to create plays, um, try to do that as well. How much did pressure impact his performance, do you think, Lee? Pressure from who? From the defensive line. Um, I think it probably attributed, you know, contributed to, to a lot of the negative plays. I think we did some things that probably contributed to it as well. I, I didn't quite what Kyle Fielding that ball in the end zone, but he's like what he did with it when he, when he got it. It's easier to say well than it is sick him, and so he got it out past the 20. I uh, was excited, and, and I felt like that there was really some, some great efforts to, for guys blocking. And, you know, the more that you, you start to gain yards and you have a returner, and it seems like the guys blocking uh, even try to go a little harder uh, because they know that there's an opportunity to break one. What were you wanting to see? with the decision to go fast on offense on the first drive there? I'm just, just giving Malik a, a chance to uh, get up on the ball and work from there. Mike, the greatest about Rashawn Hebert's relentlessness um, in the past, I guess, maybe how did that show up and what did you make of this performance? Uh, I mean, it's really hard to see individual performances on the, on the sidelines, and I know that he was active, and you know he continues to improve and work. And, you know, he started working in some new moves, some new pass rush moves, and, and trying to do some things off of maybe what he was doing earlier, which you know was good to see. That you know, it's not just the same move over and over, and I think that, that probably showed up tonight. Chris Stonehouse, I know he got the first down when he kind of bobbled the snap. Would you, would you rather him see him kind of trying to reset and try to kick it, or take off the way that he did? I'd rather see him not drop it. Like, what where do you think he is? In the uh, I think they're both competing. I think that they both had some really good days, and I think that uh, I, mean, I think Brett's putting better than he did last year, uh, from, from what I've seen. And I don't think we're ready to make a determination on, on who's the punter. No, you've got to see the film 
to give full evaluation, but uh, just the naked eye assessment, uh, what you think of Dylan and Nick uh, on the, at the tackle spot? I'll let you guys know tomorrow or whatever we talk. I, you know what I mean? I don't think there's going to be some good plays, going to be some bad plays. I don't know what to tell you. Would you like for Traylon to, to maybe get? I, I would like to try to win every game that we play. I would like to try to improve. That's what I would like to do. We're not, we're not going to stay here and go through the roster. If that's what you guys want to do. We're not going to do that. Cool. Thank you.